All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. Finally, it took forever to ship, but I got it. This is my DJI Mini 3 Pro, uh, and we're going to unbox it here. This has got to be a, this is the smallest drone box I've ever seen, man, like for real. I've never seen such a small drone box. So I've been waiting for this for quite some time. It took a long time to ship for some reason. Uh, I really don't know why. Uh, it, it said it was in stock, and then all of a sudden it got delayed. Uh, and it, it just took forever and I was frustrated with it. I mean, it took at least, it sat in, in Dallas for like five days for some reason. And it turns out they put the wrong address on it. So I was kind of frustrated with that. But in the end, it finally arrived and I am super happy to finally get it in. Uh, so this drone, um, apparently is one that people actually want. Because it's on the on the DJI website, wow! This is my first really small drone. On the DJI website, um, it talks about you not being able to order more than three, and I was like, "Whoa!" So people are pretty much probably trying to buy these and resell them. Uh, but here is the this is what's in the packaging. Wow! This has got to be okay. Here's another package here. Uh, this has got to be the simplest, smallest box I've ever seen. So I suggest that when you get this drone, go for the one for $150 more. You're already buying yourself a treat. You know, this is a treat. This is a luxury, uh, if you will. Uh, you're buying yourself, wow, this is, you know, they always brag about it being, two, they keep bragging about it being 249 grams. Wow, that is crazy. That is, the battery can't, this can't have the battery in here already. There's no way this has the battery in here. There's no way. This is crazy. Wow, with the battery. This is cra This is the lightest drone I have ever, ever picked up. This is crazy light, man. I mean, I wasn't going to get into this portion of the video yet, but wow, that is a light drone, man. That's crazy. I can already see the propellers are different on here too. But anyway, um, yeah, apparently this is a hot item and, you know, DJI is, um, you got some more information in there. I don't care about that. Um, but it's pretty crazy that they're limiting customers to only buying three. Now, I say if you're going to get this, if I didn't say it already, shoot for this one right here with the remote. I think you'll thank yourself because having to put your phone to this, it is super annoying, folks. Uh, that's got to be one of the only things about um, owning the, the drones is having to link your phone to it. And I always have issues, man, because I use multiple devices. Uh, and um, here's where the SD card goes. It's pretty cool. I got to pop one in there. I use multiple devices and I always, you know, I have the app on different, um, on different uh, phones. Uh, and... Um, <clears throat> it, it's it's just different, so I, I run into issues with connectivity. But first things first, uh, this version right here, this setup is going to run you nine hundred nine dollars. It's basically a hundred and fifty dollar difference. I mean, if you just don't want to spend the extra money to get the screen built in like this, I truly believe you should. And, and remember, I own the Mavic Air two and some other drones, and this is just. I'm glad they did it like this. So much easier to operate, more than likely. Got a nice, this is the size of your screen too, pretty much by today's standards, you know what I mean? So um, this is really nice. So you've got the drone itself, which with the battery, 249 grams, folks. I, I kid you not, this is in fact, It's it almost feels hollow. It doesn't feel anything like my Mavic Air 2. And I know the Mavic Air 2 is bigger and heavier, but this is definitely one of the smallest, lightest drones I've ever had. Now, <laughs> they've even got it right there, ultra light, 249 grams. They just keep pushing this narrative because it, it truly is, man. It's, it's incredible uh, how lightweight this thing is. So you've got 4K recording at 4K 60. Uh, HDR uh, is at 4K 30. So you can't do uh, the uh, 4K 60 HDR, but you can do 4K 30 HDR, which 30 frames per second is cool because the 60 frames per second, you're just going to be using it for some kind of slow motion if you'll need to. But 
So you've got 34 minutes of flight time. So you can get the extra battery packs. I believe there's an extra battery pack version or something like that. It's an add-on. Uh, but I, I was like, nah. I did that for the for the first one. It's called the Fly More Kit, and I had that for the first one, and that's an extra two hundred and fifty dollars. So that takes you up close to um, you know twelve hundred bucks with with taxes and things like that. So, um, you have uh, well, there's two Fly More kits. I, I, I retract that. One is one hundred eighty nine dollars, and the other one is uh, two forty nine. So you just get a couple more things in there. So <clears throat> the the Fly More Kit Plus is the one that takes you up to forty seven minutes flight time with the two batteries, intelligent batteries. So nonetheless, um, I, I opted for just the this kit right here. Uh, so you've got, again, that 34 minutes of flight time, which isn't, which isn't bad. I've, I fly my Mavic Air 2 um, a lot, and I don't fly it more than 30 minutes probably, I, you know, because I fly it out really far, and so I don't want to have to go and get it if the battery dies or it runs out on the way home. I've flown it, like, literally, <laughs> I've flown my Mavic Air 2. When I ordered my truck, I flew my Mavic Air 2 to the lot. <laughs> when I saw that it had arrived, like, through the tracking system, I flew my Mavic Air 2 over to the lot, found my truck on the lot, uh, and, yeah. I flew. <laughs> and they were looking up, like, what the heck? There's a drone out there. <laughs> yeah, I did that, though. But this this one... Um, it can, I can fly this from the same distance. It's just that the battery, um, you know, is 34 minutes flight time max. And really I would say I'm probably going to only get like 25 to 30, uh, to account for that difference there. But, uh, I'm going to fire this up and, um, I just wanted to show it to you here. Now the difference here, you see, you've got these eyes on top. It looks like a alien or something. It's super strange looking. Uh, but you've got all the sensors and everything on here. This one it's supposed to have uh, a, a good obstacle avoidance on it, so we shall see about that. But really, I think I'm more excited about having the control built in, the screen built into the control, because that was a super, that was a headache for me. Uh, overall, the phone gets hot, you know, I, I, didn't, I, I mean, I do it, but, and I've always done it, but I hope they make more, like this should become the default controller for, for drones. So again, you have uh, the setup here, and you got the camera in there. All right, now we gotta take this off. Let's get all of that. They really package these things up, man. So you got F2.4 and um, F1.7, so that is going to be really nice. You can see the gimbal there. Uh, and again, that battery, I popped that battery out and it was just like, Super lightweight, man. I mean, I was like, this can't be a battery. It can't be a battery in here. But there is. And it, this has got to be the lightest drone ever. So I'm going to go ahead and get these charged up because you can't use it until you charge it up. Uh, it clearly says they are charged to activate the intelligent flight battery before using for the first time. So I will get that charged up. And uh, let's take a closer look at the the uh drone itself or excuse me the um controller itself let's put this back on for just a second i gotta get that charged up anyway so let's just fold this in such a lightweight drone i just can't believe how lightweight this is man i'll bring in my uh, mavic air 2 as well but taking a look at the controller itself um it's got a little bit of charge to it um, let's, let's just do it. I can't help it. Let's just do it. Cause I know that the, the battery on that is dead. Ah, oh, this is so beautiful. I'm, I'm so happy to have a controller with a screen in it. Again, this is the highlight for me. Um, having, having the controller with the screen built in, that is just beast mode. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, wow. Nope. We're going to go up here to English right there. Uh, so I'm going to set this up in just a second, but just having this big controller here, uh, the screen here in the controller has got to be the sweetest thing ever. And uh, the on my other controller, they don't store it at the bottom; they store like on the top, I believe. And you've got your controls here for camera and record, uh, and you've got your C1 and C2 down on the bottom there. Uh, and then you know you've got this grip uh, on this right here; it feels pretty good. There's a mixed bag about 
uh, how people feel about this. People who have like drone tra channels, they are super critical of this controller for some reason. It's like they feel they're experts or whatever. And I understand they have drone channels, but they're they're super critical of this this, this controller. And I'm gonna have my own opinion of it. Uh, but uh, you see, you've got an air vent down here to get that heat out. Uh, and then you've got your host here and your micro SD card slot. Uh, and then you're charging right there via type C, as you can see there. So, uh, and you've got some more connection pins there. Uh, and and here, this is your zoom and tilt and things like that. So with these, that's what these do on the top right there. But this is gonna be, um, wow, this is gonna be so nice to finally, and look, you have your home button right here now on the control. So I can't wait to really get this fired up and and uh, update it because I know there's going to be updated for it. So I'm going to charge this up uh, and um, we are going to talk about uh, flight time and I'm going to give it a test flight. Uh, we'll take a look. But first, before I do that, let me show you my Mavic Air 2, the size of it. And again, I have, if you've been following me long enough, you know I have the Fly More kit. So I have the, it comes with a leather pouch and I've got, uh, see, how, see how big that is? <laughs> this is the, the shark's, the shark's fin faces. The eyes on this thing are huge right here compared to my Mavic Air 2. Uh, but you can see the difference uh, in this thing here. This thing gets a lot of flight time. Uh, but again, the the controller on here, comparing it to the, to the Mavic Air 2's controller, uh, just looking at the controllers real quick, the Mavic Air 2's controllers have a much grippier, this rubberized texture on the back is a lot grippier than this one right here. This one is like a hard plastic rubbery and this is a really grippy softer rubber texture so yeah that's that's that but this controller is also a lot heavier believe it or not um uh, this one feels a lot heavier you can see the the um the uh they're still on the bottom yeah i said this door on the top but they actually store on the on the bottom of it so if you look here you can see this is what the bottom of this one looks like and uh you see the back of it and then the top and it's where you pull out and put your phone in but overall man I'm telling you all controls from this should become the default controller for DJI and they can go ahead and charge that $150 or $100 upsell for it because it's totally worth it but um, there's no way I wanted to do another drone with putting my phone in it so um, but yeah, this is a uh, pretty pretty impressive how lightweight this is, and I know these are different. Uh, this is a mini, and this is a regular drone size. But I've never had a mini drone from DJI. I've only had this one right here, and some other drones that are bigger. But other than that, man, um, I'm gonna get some flight time on here, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire this up, charge it up, and uh, we'll we'll see what the footage looks like. Let's go. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the remote control before I get going too far into it. So this is pretty much, it felt like an Android tablet as I was setting it up. It's very actually very responsive. So I stopped here because before this, it was just signing into Wi-Fi and signing into my account. So this is what comes up next. It actually tells you about the controls uh, on the device and tells you how to do it. So the right side will be your camera zoom and the left side will be the adjustment of the gimbal, basically when you tilt the camera up and down different ways. Uh, and then this top button up here, like it says, is record. And then this one is the shutter button. Uh, and if you have pressed, you can go ahead and get the focus point that you want. And I think that's pretty important. Then you've got your return to home button is actually right here. And then you also got a press to pause flight and hover button. So they've doubled this button as a hover and return to home. So if you press it, it'll um, pause the flight and stay where it's at. And if you hold it, press and hold, it'll enable return to home. I think that's pretty cool. So the the they've changed it. They put a C here for a cinema, cine, cine smooth mode, which is basically um, the tripod mode on your other controller. Uh, and then you've got normal and sport. And then you've got C1. You can customize it. Obviously, you guys know this C1 and 2. You can customize it for the functions that you want on the bottom here. That's those two right there, C1 and 2. Uh, and it, it tells you about the the battery uh, indicators up here at the top and the, the color code. 
So green says the, um, and that's this first one right here, this big one. See how the big one is red? That means that the aircraft is not connected because the aircraft's over there charging right now. Uh, and if it's solid green, it's connected. If it's yellow, it's a firmware update. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, you got blue blinking means uh, linking with the aircraft. Yellow blinking means low battery. Green means that it's uh, control sticks not, con con uh, not centered. And red blinking means smart controller temperatures too hot for aircraft. Uh, battery levels low so there you go it shows you how to adjust the antennas uh, on there uh, and it says adjust antennas position regularly when controlling the aircraft to make sure the aircraft is always within the optimal transmission distance and now you can go fly so let's look at the controller real quick and then we'll come back with some flight time got to get it charged up so it's gonna be a while All right, guys, as you can see, wow, this thing is super stable. And the crazy part is I decided to take it out and it's really windy. Um, it's always windy where I'm at, uh, but I decided to take it out anyway because I know that there's not very many days that are coming that are not windy. Uh, so I went on ahead and took it out. The problem I ran into, though, one issue that I have with it is the SD card. Uh, for some reason, it won't accept my SD card um, as a high-speed SD card. And it is a high-speed SD card. So maybe I have to go into the systems or something like that and format it. But the drone does have 1.2 gigs available, so I was able to record a little bit of footage. Uh, but other than that, man, wow, I, I really like it a lot. It's way more stable than I thought it was going to be. Uh, compared to my DJI Mavic Air 2, um, it seems zippier. Uh, and obviously I know because this is a lighter drone. This is 249 grams. So, you know, that plays a part in why it feels so zippy at times in comparison to my DJI Pro Mavic Air 2. I'm sorry. But in the end, I'm glad I picked this one up. Now I can have a more compact drone. Literally, you can put this drone in your pocket uh, or in your, in your backpack. This is a little different. Like, let me show you my bag. Because that's, that's one thing I don't like about this one is um, this is my Mavic Air 2's bag since I got the Fly More kit. I'd need to get the um, kit, I believe, in order to get the uh, bag for this one. Or I could go ahead and put everything else. I, I have a different bag I could use, but I'm pretty sure I'd need the Fly More kit in order to... Um, to get this uh, type of setup right here where I don't have to put it into, but you can literally put this into a small, um, a small bag and it's gonna be fine. But uh, in comparison to how it feels using just the remote, um, man, it is so nice. You can see the auto off there. 
if it, if it sits idle for a little bit, it'll turn itself off. But um, I genuinely like having this remote right here in comparison to putting my phone in there. So this lets me know that I could fly anytime I want and see the screen without hooking my phone to it. Because hooking my phone to it was a was the only real somewhat of a dislike for me using the using the drones. Uh, but this one having the screen built in, this is the highlight, like I said, for me. I've already flown drones before. Um, and, you know, this one right here is definitely convenient to have this particular screen built into the remote. So that's something that I really enjoy. Man, I thank y'all for joining me in a quick flight. Uh, real brief. Uh, I, had, I flew longer than what you saw, though. I just gave you a little clip of it, but... Um, yeah, the drone is at about 75% right now. Uh, I hovered for about five to 10 minutes and then I flew for another five to 10 minutes and I'm on, I'm still only at 75%. So, uh, but that was flying in just normal mode. So I'm pretty sure if I switch it to sport mode, that battery will fly through pretty quickly, but I like it a lot, man. So um, it's, you know, if you're going to ask me if it's worth a thousand bucks, because that's what it costs after taxes, right under a thousand bucks for this particular setup. Um, I'm still going to tell you to go with this setup over the standard remote. I'm going to tell you this is the better, smarter way to do it, man. You'll thank yourself for having that screen built in. And just to show you here, let me grab my S22 Ultra. You can see this is a 6.8 a, a 6 inch display right here. You can see the difference in um, the screen size, you know. And normally I was hooking my, um, my iPhone 13 Pro Max to it. I was hooking this phone to the DJI drone uh, when I flew my, when I fly my Mavic Air 2. I hooked this phone to it because uh, I like the battery life in it. It you know it just it just just handles itself better with that drone. But nonetheless, I'm excited. I'll probably get more footage later on, but I'm gonna have some more fun, man, and get out there and fly. I gotta figure out what's up with my SD card, though, because it's saying that it's not, I literally just got a brand new SD card, popped it in, and it's a Samsung, and it's saying that it's a slow SD card. Now this card is uh, the same one that I have uh, in my Mavic Air 2, I believe, except the other one, and that one is a 256 gig, so. I don't know why it's saying that it's a slow memory card, but good thing the drone has 1.2 gigs available, and uh, all you do is plug your Type C up to your device or whatever, uh, and it'll you can drag the the information off. So uh, yeah, there it is, man. It's your man Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Wow, I'm excited. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.